Okay, we're going to solve we could problem 121, best time to buy and sell stock. So we're going to do this in Java, and for this problem, we're trying to maximize profit by choosing what day to buy a stock and what day in the future to sell that stock. And we're doing this all in hindsight, so we already know what all the past trends are. So we get an array like this, for example, 76431. And then in that case, there's no perfect day to buy and sell because no matter when you buy, it's going down and not coming up at all. So, but you could imagine a scenario where, like this, where you see one that's fairly low, if somebody bought on this day, which is day two, they could sell on this day, which is day five for maximum profit. And obviously this is noting that you have to buy before yourself. All right. So for this, let's see. So first let's make some variables here. So we're gonna have int, see what do we have here let's have a minimum price and a maximum profit variable so we're gonna have min price equals int int is short for integer max profit equals zero Just so for minimum price let's have it be integer dot maximum value So it's getting, it's deciding what the minimum price would be based on how we get the most value from our precise situation. So we're going to have a for loop down here. Let's think how would we do this since we have to iterate through the prices in the array. So we're going to do that with a for loop. So we're going to have int i equals zero. I so while we are less than prices dot length, I guess prices is the name of our array. You can have Alright, if Okay, so if the specific price we're at is less than the min price, that's going to be the new minimum price. So, min price equals prices. I. We have to keep track of our semicolons. Alright, we're gonna have an else if on here. Prices. So then now uh, we're gonna have an evaluation here. So we're gonna have a situation for max profit. 
So max profit, we would decide that based on what the biggest price that's after a smaller price is. So like in this situation over here, we have one being a small one, which we have this larger one that comes afterwards. As long as we have a situ as long as we do prices I less than Then we have to have a return statement, so we're going to return max profit. Alright, let's see what happens here. Line 15. be wrong here. Return max profit. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong place. Let's see now. Alright, integer dot max underscore value. be wrong here. Oh, this is what I have wrong here. This has to be all uppercase. There we go. And we have achieved this problem. Thank you and see you in the next video.